Hello everyone, back tuning in to the third update for Candle Calling, and we've also added, as our second update, which we did on Saturday, uh, Camp Festival, which is coming up on the South Coast, um, at uh, the weekend. We're starting Thursday and running through to Sunday, both of these uh, events. So, um, the story with this so far is that we've done two updates. The first update was very unsettled for uh, Candle Calling, I think. Cumbria. Uh, update 2, which we did on Saturday, was a much better update. It's a much drier, uh, a lot of useful weather around throughout the period. Yes, there were some showers coming through, but uh, generally update 2 was pretty good for uh, both uh, Candle Calling and Camp Festival. We will see what um, the uh, latest GFS run, hot top of press, just updated, is showing uh, for these events right now. So we're starting on Thursday the 27th of July, which is day one of both of these events, and we see that we've got low pressure uh, out to the northwest of Scotland, quite a deep area of low pressure, and usually so at the time of year, it's got a central pressure of around 9 80 millibars, which is quite autumnal, uh, actually, and that's bringing in these fairly strong and pretty cool and showery westerly winds. So, as a um, as a setup, as a scenario, it's not a great uh, scenario to be starting off with. Upper air temperatures are looking pretty cool with these westerly winds coming in from off the Atlantic Ocean on Thursday. This is a precipitation forecast, so we start off with a fair amount of dry weather during the course of Thursday, but through the day we find these showers being blown. It's a little bit hard to make it out on these charts, but uh, we've got showers coming through here, both in Cumbria and down on the south coast, so uh, um, Camp Festival and Kendall Coin could both be impacted by showers on these days. I would have thought uh, it's most likely in the north and west, so probably a little bit better down on the south coast compared to Cumbria, but nevertheless, it would be, uh, or it looks like it's going to be showery day uh, to start us off for both of these events, and quite cool as well, temperatures probably for Cumbria, somewhere close to around, say, 18 degrees, down on the south coast for Camp Festival, we might get uh, to around 20 or 21, that's around 70 Fahrenheit, but certainly nothing to write home, and it would feel quite cool in those westerly winds. Uh, day two, which is uh, Friday 28th of July, shows that again low pressure is out to the northwest of Scotland and we're still bringing in these west winds. We are building a little bit of high pressure down to the south, so it might be a bit drier uh, for Dorset, but for Cumbria we are still looking at uh, quite a few showers. Upper air temperatures are remaining cool as well for day two, Friday 28th of July. Uh, same story, really, uh, in terms of precipitation, so a fair amount of dry weather to start off with on Friday, but the showers do get more widespread. Maybe not quite as many on Friday compared to Thursday. You see there is a risk of some showers there to come. But down on the south coast, actually, probably mostly dry uh, towards Dorset for uh, Camp Bessel. So day two of Camp Bessel, probably fairly dry, still at risk of showers for Kendall cooling, but uh, perhaps less so and not as intense as we have on day one. Uh, temperatures much the same, about 18 degrees probably. In Cumbria, might be up to 21 uh, on the south coast, 70 Fahrenheit there. Into Saturday, day three, and we're bringing this trough across the country. This looks a little bit more unsettled as we're going through into the actual weekend, day three of these events. With this trough, there's some slightly uh, milder air coming in, some slightly warmer air, so temperatures are lifting up a little bit. It's not as cool, um, but there's more rain. That's the price to pay. So this is how we start off on Saturday with quite a bit of rain in the west, and those outbreaks of rain get more widespread for a time through the day before we end up on a drier note. So we're bringing a trough through the country, probably with a band of rain affecting both uh Kendall Cooling and also um, Camp Festival some point through the day, and then we finish up on a drier note. This is a more changeable, wetter update uh, compared to update two for both of these events. Not a washout, but it certainly is more unsettled. Temperatures have lifted up a little bit, so uh, up in Cumbria we might be up to around 20 degrees, uh, and down in Dorset we might be up to around 23. 23 is 70 Fahrenheit, so uh, 73 Fahrenheit, so it's a bit warmer. But it's also quite unsettled. And then we finish up with these events on uh, day four, which is Sunday the 30th of July, when it looks like we're bringing another area of low pressure in from off the Atlantic. So this is, this is a more unsettled update compared 
to update to. The upper air temperatures are still a little bit better. There is some slightly warmer air coming in with these areas of low pressure, but it's really the rainfall that's concerning. This is how sunny is starting off with the precipitation forecast. Looks really wet down in the south, actually, uh, in Dorset. It could be pouring with rain, and then that rain pushes northwards through the course of the day and eastwards. Might even be suggesting that it's turning a bit thundery here across uh, parts of the country. There's the Cape, it's called Cape and Lifted, which is sort of the convective potential within the atmosphere. Fairly high rate, so we might see some uh, lightning and thunder coming through there on a Sunday for the final day of Kendall Cooling and uh, Camp Festival. Temperatures are okay. They're around 20 degrees generally for Cumbria, possibly up to 22 degrees in Dorset. But as I say, it's really the rainfall that is a little bit more concerning for this update. So we've really gone back to where we was for update one. Update one was very unsettled, quite a bit of rain suggested. Update two was a lot drier, albeit the pattern was still a bit unsettled, but it wasn't anywhere near as uh, unsettled as wet. Gone back to where it was with update one, really, for this third update. It does look like it's a changeable uh, period coming up, most definitely. It's just going to be a case of pinning down the detail. Within the changeable pattern, we might get lucky and be able to string together a few days of drier conditions. But overall, this does look uh, really quite unsettled, I have to say. And uh, I think you should, at the very least, be preparing for rain if you're off to these events. Uh, prepare with your waterproofs and so on that uh, you could well be impacted by rainfall if it doesn't turn out as wet as this is suggesting then uh, you've not lost anything by taking your wet weather gear with you uh, it's just uh, a bit of a precaution so that's update three we'll probably do one final update sometime around Wednesday so uh, come back for that then um, that's all for now and thanks for watching